Hey guys, on the last one I showed you how to make these door handles from scratch. Now before we put these doors back on the Chevy Love, we might as well make some door panels for it. Um, I don't, the originals were completely tore up. Now you can make them out of like bender board, things like that. It's real cheap stuff. Cover them on fabric, carpet, whatever you like. Um, but this whole truck is completely sheet metal inside, so it just feels right to make some sheet metal door panels. So, first thing we're going to start with is removing the handle, getting our template up here, and marking where the handle and the window crank is. Now the poster board is not big enough to do the whole door, so we're going to do it in a couple of pieces. Now in order to mark the door handle and the window crank, I just use a carpenter's pencil. And I kind of feel around, know where it's at, and then simply start rubbing it back and forth. Kind of like how you did over a coin when you were a kid. Alright, that gives me the outline for the actual door handle. Make sure that stays lined up. Looks good. This is trying to shift on me, so instead of trying to hold it in place and do it all, we'll just use tape and pin it in place. That way, you know, if I had somebody working with me, I could make them hold it, but we'll just use tape. So as you can see, it left a nice little outline here of the door handle and a small one of the window crank. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and cut these out first, put it back on over those, and then mark our lines on our edges so we know it's all squared up. Now, a quick trick with these flat carpenter pencils, sometimes you can use the side of it and transfer the orange paint right to it and it's quicker and easier than sitting there trying to scribble across it. Now, that was a lot faster than doing this forever. So, just these cheap little Home Depot pencils, any flat carbon pencil, but these have that bright orange paint on it so you can just force it and it'll mark right on the edge for you. Now, this wasn't long enough, so we have to make another piece to go here, tape it to it, and that's gonna be the rest of the template. Now that I've got the template cut out and taped up here, I can get a better look at what's going on, how it's gonna lay. Everything's gonna lay really good except for where we built the handle. Because of the lower arm, it sits a little high. So there's a couple ways we can handle it. We can try to bead roll a rise in this. What I looked at is I have tallest bead roll I have is a quarter inch step. That's not really gonna work for what we need. So what I'm thinking is we will probably cut this out a little bigger put the flat spot on, then take a second piece of metal and make the rise out of it. It took me a while after I got it this far where I had the cut out for the handle and everything, figure out how I wanted to raise the panel to hide the mechanism. So what I've come up with is this here. Now this is about six inches wide, five inches tall, with about a 45 degree angle on the actual ends. Now I folded it all completely over to make this rise. I'm gonna take and spot weld this together we're going to cut the hole for the handle, and this will actually go over that, and the handle will go in, and that's what it'll look like. So, first thing I got to do is probably cut the hole first. All right, I cut the hole. I just used the hole saw, and then I'm ringing bed to clean up the burrs. If it's right, this should slide just inside and pivot without any restriction. So, what we can do is just take this, slide it on the handle. Make sure everything lines up the way we want it. Looks pretty good. Mechanism's working. I think we're good. So I left enough room to access the grub screw to remove the handle. So everything looks good there. So what we'll do is start welding this guy up. So 
So we're gonna insert the handle through the plate and then onto the actual mechanism. We're doing this to ensure that we actually have this exactly where it needs to be. All right, now we're gonna make sure there's no interference. We're good. So now I'll go ahead and tack this guy in place. One thing we gotta do before we're done with this side is actually put a handle to pull the door shut. All right, I'll show you how I do it. So what I've got is a piece of one inch tubing here. Now, it's gonna be three sections. There's actually gonna be a three inch, a six inch, and a three inch. And what I'm gonna do is actually cut down through this, but not all the way through, and then cut a wedge. So when I cut that with the bandsaw, I can actually be able to fold the sides up in an angle and create the handle. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. You're gonna cut a slight, probably five degree angle on one and about a 40 degree angle on the other, and then you're just gonna fold it up. Now, if you screw up like I did on the one side and cut it all the way through, not a big deal, just gonna put it back together and weld it all the way around. Now what we're gonna do is take a straight edge and go from the farthest point to the farthest point and draw a line. Now that's gonna give us as if it was mounting flat to the door. Now this cut can be a little difficult to do with the bandsaw, so if you don't have a bandsaw or if you're not real used to it, you can cut it with a cutoff wheel and it'll get a nice clean line. Now that we've got it cut even, the spacing is right so the handle's not cocked one way or the other, go ahead and grind the weld, get a nice smooth finish before we weld it to the door. All right, I've taken and measured from the top edge down two inches, that looks about right to me. So I can actually put this handle on and it be straight. So now I'll just eyeball it left and right to get it where I want it. And we'll go ahead and tack it in place and weld it out. So now, once again, we're welding the sheet metal. So we're gonna do a start-stop method and we're not gonna carry too much heat. So we might do a little area here and a little area there and kind of bounce back and forth until we get it all welded up. Well guys, this panel's all done. I've got everything we need on it. Let's start on the other side. Now, if everything's right, we should be able to flip this template over and it should fit. Well, that's about it for these door panels. They're all wrapped up, ready to go back on the truck. Now we're having a pretty huge storm right now and the Luff has no doors on it. So next week I'll probably be showing you how to get rid of rust. But anyway, on these door panels, you can take and go as wild as you want. Take and feed roll, weld things on, whatever you can think of to make it your own. And whatever you guys come up with, do me a favor, send it to me on Facebook. It's uh, Broke Best of Garage. Pretty simple, easy to remember. Send me what you guys make. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a good week. I'll see you on the next one.